Good evening everybody! Today we're going on a trip to visit Guitar Hero Buckhead's 126th Pike album, Tourist. So, let's begin. Woo! Released April 10th, 2015, Pike 126 Tourist was the second of nine albums to be released that month alone in what was a crazy 2015 for Pike album releases. The album kicks off with its longest track, the 14 minute Glowworm. A fantastic composition with perfect pacing, it never slows itself down or gets stuck in the mud, which for a 14 minute song would be easy to do. Glowworm is a highly enjoyable, upbeat ride that doesn't have a single solo and really doesn't need it. Great stuff, great start, and spoiler alert, it's the album's best track by a mile. Track 2 is the title track, Tourist, and is the album's shortest track at just under 2 minutes. And boy does it make use of those 2 minutes. Going from shred to funk and ending with rock, it's a short enjoyable track that obviously could have gone longer, but probably didn't need to. Ticket to Extinguish is a glorious jam of funk and blues with Buckethead's guitar in all-out effects mode. A nice change of tone for the album, it's another solid foot stomping track. Or Bookend Alley exchanges heavy rippage with Shred guitar for the song's 4 minute duration. If you've never heard Buckethead Shred, then the speeds will blow you away. But if you're a long time fan, it probably won't feel like you're hearing anything new. Break for Slide sees Buckethead picking up his acoustic for some noodling in what sounds like it was recorded in 1989 whilst young Buckethead is sitting in front of a waterfall. It's a fun listen and something different for the album, but not one you'll revisit anytime soon. concludes with track 6 storage. In what feels like an extension of track 4's bookend alley, Big B exchanges nasty metal riffage with shred guitar. The skill on display, especially towards the latter part of the song, is definitely something to be admired, but as an enjoyable song you can listen to multiple times, not so much. Pike 126 Taurus starts off strong with its first three tracks before veering off course and getting lost somewhere between the countryside and inbred mountain. The opening track is fantastic and tracks 2 and 3 are enjoyable, but the remaining three tracks are nothing we haven't heard before and not ones you'll revisit again, especially considering he's done far better in the same style many times before. After adding up the rating I gave for each track, it came to exactly 55%, which I categorise as average. And without track 1, it would have been far lower. You can find my individual song ratings and breakdown on our website natanet.com. 
So what's your rating for Pike 1 to 6? To work out what percentage you give the album, rate each song out of 5 stars, add up your total and divide it by the total score possible, which for Pike 1 to 6 is 30, then times it by 100. So does Buckethead's Taurus lose its way? What do you think?